Hello, this is Edgar Preciado from Rancho Preciado LLC. Uh, today I'll be conducting three beehive inspections, uh, pretty much inspecting all three beehives on my property. So this is the first uh, beehive I'll be inspecting today. This was one of my most aggressive ones at the beginning. It seems to have calmed down a bit, but not too much. As long as I smoke them pretty good, they don't seem to give me too big of a problem. All right, so the goal of this inspection is to check for swarm cells, uh, any type of disease, wax moth, uh, beetles, anything that might be affecting them. And right off the bat on this one, I saw some wax moth cocoons. You can see that first one there was empty. Then that second one had a larva in it. It popped like a zit. Kind of gross, but I'm glad I caught them now before it's too late. This hive isn't as strong as I'd like it to be yet, but it's slowly getting there. As you can tell, they're expanding their wax to their comb on where they're going. They're slowly starting to expand from there. Uh, one of the issues I am having with this one is they combine the comb a lot. I think that's my fault due to the frames I'm using. I should have probably cleaned them out a little bit better before I installed them in there. Right here I am removing some comb that was tied together. As you can tell, they are doing a good job building comb and connecting it, so that's good. I'm happy about that. Right here, there's some more comb that they attach to each frame, and I'm trying to separate it. I know it's not a good shot. Sorry about that, but just trying to do the best I can by myself since I don't have my helper with me today. As you can see, there's still a few bees there. They are working hard on building some comb, which, like I said, I'm happy about that. You see that some of the comb I was talking about there at the bottom? They got some good larva eggs and stuff on this frame, which is good both sides it's not a really good brood pattern but I think that has to do with the way the comb is being built I apologize right there I went ahead and just removed that comb at the bottom since I didn't want them to keep reattaching it to the other frames Here's the comb I removed. There's no eggs or anything on it, so I'll just melt it later and use it for making wax candles or something else. This one you can see it's got a nice little brood pattern on the corner there. The comb's all attached at the bottom, so I'll leave that comb alone and not mess with it. Just let it be and hopefully they'll attach to it with no issues. This side here has a lot of new wax buildup with an egg pattern on it, which is good. Uh, it's a little bit overlapping, but I'll just keep an eye on it and see what happens with it. If anything, I could always just switch out frames later. As you can see on this one, the foundation that came on, it's a little messed up, which is why they're probably building the, uh, the comb the way they are. Like I said, I'll just keep an eye on it, and need be, I might just take off the old um, foundation off of it and just let them build either on the wire or put new foundation in. Good. 
This one's got a lot of new wax build up there. Actually building it pretty good on this one here, but the foundation on it's also pretty good, which helps out a lot. When I was getting ready to put everything back together and I noticed at the last second there's one more wax moth cocoon up on the left hand corner there. Also had something in it but luckily I caught it and I'm going to be able to remove it. Other than that I was happy there was no actual wax moth built up inside the uh, hive itself which means they're doing a good job defending against wax moth and didn't see any other disease on the hive, anything of concern. So overall, the hive's not as far along as I'd like it to be, but I'm happy with the help of the hive itself. So yeah, I'm starting on the uh, second hive. This is one of my strongest hives. I'm really happy with this hive here. It's got a lot of activity, as you can tell. Look at the top, full of bees, which is always a good sign when you open up a hive. That's what you want to see. So this one, I'm so far, so good. I'm really happy with it. This hive's also doing a good job with their provolis buildup. As you can see, that hood's not coming off. They got it really latched on there. Took a little bit of work to get it off, which is good. It means they're sealing up all the holes in it, which is good. As you can see here on the top frames, that black stuff on top of the uh, frames itself, that's the propolis I was talking about earlier. Here with the propolis, they also did a good job attaching the frames to each other. You can tell it's a little bit of hard work to get in there and remove the uh, propolis because you're pretty much glued to the edge of the wall and to each other. So like I said, that's always a good sign. Real happy about that. You can see on this one it's a little shiny so they got some a syrup build up in there which is good that's their stuff to start the summer with Once you get that first frame out it's a lot easier to disconnect the propolis you can see you just kind of go in there and unlatch them it's a lot easier than trying to go between the frames and disconnect it. Looking at this frame, they're still working on building up some comb on it and probably start storing. But like I said, this one's off to a good start for spring just starting out. Don't know how it happened, but the foundation on this one's a little warped, but I'm going to keep it in there for now. They're not attaching it to the other frames or anything. See if they're going to work with it. If they do, I'll leave it in there. If not, then I'll remove it.
As I start putting this frame, I can tell it's a little bit heavier than all the other ones, and lo and behold, this one's nice and full of eggs, which makes me really happy. You can see it's got a good egg pattern on it, both sides. A couple of um, a couple of drone cells on it, but nothing too bad. I mean, at the start of spring, you expect a few drones here and there, but other than that, it's a nice egg pattern on that frame there. This one here also another nice egg pattern a little bit more drones on it but like i said no big issue with that you can see it's a nice pattern everything's nicely sealed on the outside here the pattern's on the outside which lets me know the way the queen works she starts in the middle works her way out so all the ones in the middle already hatched the ones on the outside will be probably hatching in a day now The egg pattern on this one's a little bit more blotchy, but there's also a lot more drones in it, so that might have something to do with it. Uh, one of the things I also looked for while doing these inspections was any uh, queen cells, which had not spot, any swarm cells, those will be at the bottom of the frame, which had not spot, which lets me know that this queen is doing really good, the bees are happy with her, they're not looking to swarm on me as of right now, or replace the queen. As right, you can see here, we have another decent pattern of eggs, queen working from the middle out. Also looking for swarm cells or just queen cells. Also try to locate the queen, wasn't able to find her. But I mean, I know she's there just by the number of eggs and larvae on these frames. So even though I wasn't able to locate her, I know she's there. So that's always a good sign. So this here is the last frame, as you can tell, also full of eggs, a couple of drones here and there, which is a good sign. So she's got at least half the hive full of eggs, which is always good. So because of this, I know there's no swarm cells or anything, or anything like that. So in order to prevent them from swarming, what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to add a honey super on it. I don't think they're 100% ready on it, but I think once those all those larvae and eggs hatch, they're going to be ready to go. So... I'm going to just add a, uh, a honey super on this one, that way avoid any swarming in the future, hopefully. But of course, before I add the honey uh, super on, i got to put everything back the exact same way it was. That way it makes it easier for them to get restart everything this anytime you inspect them like this you can set them back three days so if you can put everything back the way you found it, it makes it easier for them to get back to normal and back to work So here's the honey super. First thing I'm going to put on is the uh, queen excluder. What that does, it excludes the queen from coming up on top. That way we only get uh, honey on top and no egg or larva into the honey, which is always good because you don't want any of that stuff in the items you plan to consume. So you see this one's got the honey super on it. Hopefully the bees will take to it and start working on it. And we'll go from there. So I'll keep you guys updated on this one. But like I said, this is my strongest hive, so I'm really happy with this one. And here I'm starting on the third and final hive. Um, this one, it's not as strong as I'd like it to be, but it's slowly getting there. 
this I eventually once I get it to where I want it to be I'm going to move from the property and take it to a friend's property to have on his property to pollinate some of his citrus trees and flowers he's got around. This up here is concentrating on the middle portion, which is good. As you can tell, that's where they have all their propolis build up, connecting the the frames together. So at least they're working on that, which lets me know they're doing what they're supposed to be doing, which is always a good sign. You can tell on this second side here, they got a good build up of a comb that they've started. So that's always good. There's a couple eggs in there, a little hard to make out, but. That's good, so the queen's at least laying on there. On this frame here, we have a good uh, comb buildup, which is good. Got a couple eggs. You can tell she's starting in the middle, start working her way out. Uh, a lot of drone stuff. The egg pattern on it isn't as good as I'd like it to be. It's a little spread out, but at least there's eggs on there, and there's no. Nothing to indicate they're trying to replace her, so they're happy with her, so we'll let her be for now. Right here I spotted the queens, you can tell there she is. She's got a little bit of yellow on her. We tried to mark her last year, it didn't take. A little bit stuck on it, but as you can see, there she is. Uh, the bees are protecting her, they're doing what they're supposed to be doing. She's walking around the frames, hopefully laying eggs. So, like I said, bees are happy with her, so we'll let her be for now. If, uh, hopefully, as summer progresses her egg pattern will improve and we'll go from there this one here nice comb build up also a couple eggs where the combs already been built which is good uh, there might be starting on that second side there uh, this was the last frame that they really were working on so I'm just gonna stop my inspection there and Put everything back together. Like I said three hives, three inspections, all of them doing pretty good. No major sign of disease. That first hive had a little bit of wax moth cocoons, but nothing to indicate that there was a wax moth invasion on there. So that's always good overall. Pretty happy with the inspection and looks like they're off to a good start for the summer. Didn't lose any over the winter, which is always a positive. Thanks for watching. Uh, like and subscribe. Leave any comments on anything else you'd like me to like to see or just any comments on this video. Do you think I did something wrong or anything I can improve on? By all means, go ahead. Any uh, comments, always a positive comment. Once again, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.